Putting things back into the Bender Kitchen with Ryan and Heidi. All right, thank you, Teresa. We are here with Heidi Lang from Heidi. the Fig Cooking School. Indeed. Tell us about uh, what's cooking over there at the cooking school. Well, what's cooking at the cooking school are lots of really cozy classes right now. We're doing a lot of things like Coco Van and uh, stews and some French classes. And then before you know it, we're going to be doing things like marching into spring and uh, lighter fare. Yeah, exactly, and some spice market classes. That'll be good. And yeah. and, and, and where are you guys located? In, in Hamden, right in oh, Hamden, in the Springfield okay, so section in, of Hamden. And it's easy to sign up? It really it's is. Affordable. Just go to fitcookingschool.com. Okay. Super easy. And you're going to be giving me a little lesson I today. am. I am. Today we're going to make something that goes very well with the kinds of things we, I was talking about with stews, whether you're making chili or something braised. Mm -hmm. um, this is a little side van. dish. Exactly, a okay. side dish. So uh, there's nothing better than a nice hearty bread. But, you know, we get bored eating just having French bread all the mm. time or you know something crusty so I thought we, what would be more fun than to make some cornbread so and instead of just making it in the standard uh, cast iron pan I um, put them in individual pans uh, so today though we're going to make it in a, in, a, in a hot cast iron pan which we have put in the oven for the last half hour or so so it's really hot so when we actually put the batter in the pan you're going to hear this little sizzle, sizzle? Yeah, I, I it actually hear. starts cooking before uh, baking before we actually even put it in the oven. And it's this type cool. of cornbread you said is sacrilegious. I think yes, I, I, that's what I decided to call it because it's very unsouthern. It's definitely mm. made from a Yankee. It's so a little sweeter. Use, it has, has some sugar in it, right. uh, and it has a little um, all-purpose flour as opposed to just um, corn flour, uh, which makes it a, a lovely cornbread but a much, but a much grainier one. Now, is is this something that you can serve obviously on a bigger scale, more as a, a main dish if if you put something on top of? It, Actually, or? that's a great question because we've made a, a compound, what's called a compound butter. We've put some honey in it, a little vanilla, here, right? and um, a little powdered sugar for texture. Uh, now, you can just serve it with just regular butter or you could serve it, um, you know, uh, with something fancy. And you could also add, if you also want to make this a more savory kind of thing, you could put uh, in the batter that we're going to make now, you could put jalapeno peppers, you could put corn, frozen corn. Okay. You so you could, could spice it onions. up a little bit. You could spice it up or put even put in some onions. Really, it's mm -hmm. um, you can really put anything. It's a peasant dish. It's a dish that's meant to be uh, used any way you feel like interpreting it. Okay. So you want to get started? So there's no way to mess up. That's the good uh, yeah, part. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I'm making it for you, John. Uh, oh, uh, I mean Ryan. Oh, thanks, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> or Karen, whatever your name is. Okay, okay, Ralph, let's get going. All okay, right, let's do it. so so we so uh, when you bake, um, uh, there's often a dry a bowl and a wet bowl. So we're going to okay. start with the dry bowl. Okay, dry. so we've got two cups of corn flour. You're just going to dump all these in. Okay, and we've got a half a cup of sugar, and uh, we've got um, some flour, flour all-purpose yeah. flour, okay. a cup of flour. The whole okay, thing? yep. Okay. And then we're going to put in the sugar, and now we're going to put in. We uh, you always need to use um, baking powder and baking soda okay. to make a bread because that's what's going to make it rise. That baking soda. It's baking soda. Okay. Right? All right. Oh, but we are going to use bacon too. Bacon. Bacon, bacon fat. Bacon fat. Yeah. Oh, so oh you, what you want to do is actually make making your stew or chili or something with the bacon. I'm excited for this now. Exactly. And then you have the fat left over, or you know, save the fat from the last time you made bacon. Okay. okay. So we've got the baking powder and the baking soda. Two and a half uh, uh, teaspoons of bacon baking uh, soda and one teaspoon of baking okay. powder. Oh, there, we've got a whisk Yeah, we already okay. got it here, so okay. start whisking away. Okay, Bobby, do that, All okay? right, thanks, uh, Lori. <laughs> okay. And in the meantime, Bobby, Bobby. I'm just whisking. Uh, there's two eggs here. We're having a whisking contest exactly. here. Who can whisk faster? Okay, and we've got melted butter. Now, you don't want to melt this butter too far in advance because it will start to congeal. Okay. But you don't want it to be hot either. Um, and we're going to add Here's the big. Here's the. Here's uh, the you, might, you might want to stop doing that. You mm -hmm. might, might want to do this. Do you want to have the honors of putting in absolutely a tablespoon? Okay. Of, now, Je if you don't have, how about a tablespoon and a half? Can we? Well, che cheat a little bit. Here? here, put it over here. Don't oh, put it oh, over there. there yeah. Okay. So if you put it in there, we're gonna have. Well, uh, well, we could do something creative with that. Yeah. There you go. A little more. Yeah. Sure. What the heck? Yeah. Nobody's watching. You know what? Part. You know what the. You know what the bacon fat does. What does it, it actually do? makes it a little juicier. So if you want to put in a tiny bit more, okay. feel free. Okay. The more bacon, the merrier. Exactly. And it's much healthier that way too, uh, right? It is. It really Decreasing is. our calories. <laughs> exactly. Increasing our antioxidants. Exactly. That way. So now we're going to add the eggs. Into. Right in here. In the butter. Okay. Yep. Now, on the recipe that we're going to have online, we use a mixer. You don't have to use a mixer. It's just a little bit easier. And mixing on TV is very loud, so we don't want to do that. Okay, yeah. We don't want to yeah. do that. So we, we want to keep it quiet. We exactly. Don't wake the baby up. So here's the buttermilk I was talking about yep. before. Okay, and so we want that to be room temperature. Okay. okay so put that in. Put it right here. Yep. And we mix this up nicely. Okay. So now, again, classic uh, baking uh, recipe. 
you've got wet ingredients and dry, dry. ingredients. And so now we're going to dump this in here. Okay. Okay, but slowly. Okay, okay slowly. We have yeah. one minute left. Oh, only one minute left. Okay. So why, why, while I'll do this, why don't okay. you take these pot holders and take out the cast iron pan? Very, okay. it's super hot, um, uh, Joe. It's really hot. It's uh, like uh, 500 degrees. All right, seriously. Thank okay. You, thank you. okay. <laughs> so we're going to mix this together very quickly. And we're going to brush. I'm going to give you a brush. And you're going to, careful, just put that down. Right here. And then take that fat and brush the whole pan. Okay. Just put it, pour in some. I'll pour it in for you. Just pour a little bit. Just, just a little tiny bit. bit tiny yep. Bit. And while that, I'm just going to mix this. There you go. Mix that around. And this is all done. When you've got that mixed, I'm going to just pour this in. And you hopefully, you're going to hear this nice sizzle. I don't nice know if we're going to hear it uh, through our mics. Is that all? That's good. That's Perfect. It. Okay. Watch. Ah. Ooh, look at that. And this is smell now going the bacon. To, do you smell that? Oh, yeah. This is going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes, but watch it because every oven is different, okay? And um, and you know it's done when you put a toothpick in and it comes out clean. And then it, And voila. This is the final that product. That is the final here. product. So you can make them an individual. If you're making an individual, it's about a half a cup per little pan. Okay, Heidi, thank yeah, you so much. Give me so a high welcome. five there. I, I appreciate it, Barbara. <laughs> All right.